Aloha and welcome back to High Now Daily. We wanted to apologize for the technical difficulties out there on Hawaii Island, but we will check back in with Kainoa in just a few. And right now we're back here in studio, and Malu I Ulu is a program that aims to kill individuals after a crisis by helping them find their strength. And here to share more about the program is Tino Botello. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about this program, how it got started, and a little bit about the services that you folks provide. Okay. Okay, so Malu Ika Ulu was actually started by Hoakamana over on Molokai. And it, it kind of came with this concept of like the Pu'ohonua, right? Like a safe sanctuary for people, for survivors of trauma. Um, and so we, we luckily were gifted that, right? We're gifted the mana'o from Kanoilani Davis's team on Molokai um, and their kupuna there, right? And talked about the ulu and, you know, what it really means, you know, to be a survivor and to come from this cultural perspective of healing. Mm -hmm. And so when the Maui wildfires happened, you know, it was, it was kind of this perfect opportunity to provide these services. Uh, for the community, especially because so much of their community was living on Maui at the time. Um, so to be able to perpetuate that back, yeah. you know, and reconnect. Absolutely. Yeah. You said um, your team, just within three days after the fire, you guys were able to jump in. You guys were like, we already have something in place. Why? No need to start from scratch. Let's just give it a go from here, right? And you guys just took off from there to help those who have been affected. Um, tell me a little bit about the services that you folks provide. So we provide in the community case management, we provide in the community mental health, behavioral health, and substance abuse supports. So we actually come from a different concept versus like, you know, a lot of the more westernized mindset where it's you come to us. Mm -hmm. uh, Malu Ikeulu is focused on taking the services to the people. So going to the events, going to people's homes, going, you know, to where, basically wherever they are, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to connect with them and, and help them find that sanctuary again. Yeah, you speak of Puhonua uh, and the sanctuary, this place the sacred place that you can come to heal. It's not necessarily a physical place because you folks take your services to the people who need them, but you're mentioning to me that like home is where you are and that's what you guys are focusing on, right? Yeah, and so so much of, you know, Lahaina as well as upcountry, we never want to forget our upcountry Ohanas too, right? They they suffered as, you know, as much loss, you know, as, as the Lahaina community. But this concept of home, right? And this concept of like wherever you go, you take your aloha, right? Wherever you go, you take all of your ancestors with you and you take your legacy with you too you know and so as people have been displaced right out of their communities out of nine plus generations who really created those communities mm -hmm. just having them come back together right having them come back together to heal and to remember you know and to honor that um, and so that's really what Malu Ikeulu is about right is to have this concept to reconnect that like your home is where you are mm -hmm. And that we do carry, you know, the legends with us, right? We do carry all of that for our legacy. Right. And it's going to take us generations to rebuild. And we are going to need those legends to be right along with us. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, I mean, we mentioned that you guys will go out there and meet people where they're at. But also, you guys are a part of the community. So whether there's a fair out there or something that's happening, you guys are there. You guys set up. Yes. So every event, um, you know, we're constantly on social media checking, you know, what different agencies are providing um, to make sure that all of our ulus are there if they can be we have three different agencies that will send out people to those events um, and then if we get called upon we will go to you right so you never have to worry about transportation or making an appointment we will come to you awesome and you say ulus those are the counselors that yeah. come in there and help yeah. everybody out you guys got nurses you've got psychologists psychiatrists anybody everybody willing to jump in and yes, help everybody absolutely all right and if people wanted to get more information where would they go? So they can go to our website, which is um, www.maluikaulu.com. I think it's com or org. Yep. Um, but also, you know, if if you're in the community, reaching out to 211, which is the United Way, you know, um, number 988 is another way to get a hold of us. Um, or you can call the, the 808 number, so it's the warm line. So 808-446-6676. Beautiful. And uh, reach out. And again, that's for displaced people too, right? Even if they're off island temporarily or they're on the mainland, we even have people, you know, had to go as far as Japan. Wow. So just calling in, you know, call us, you know, we'll support you while you, you know, make the transition back or try to figure out where you're going to go moving forward because you're still a part of our ohana no matter where you go. 
Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing your time and all the information with us. So go ahead and check out their website. We'll have it on ours as well, HeinalDB.com. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Thank you.